Hey bro, going through some tar times, just want to let you n wanted to show my gratitude once again, remind you how much your work is appreciated for me. Ending the day with you is my true is truly my sweet spot. Helps the pain go and brings positivity and vibes to my life. Much love as always, self with Frank. One soon, Godspeed. If that's a pasta, then f you. And if that's real, then of course, bro. I would say honestly, feels weird to sometimes like it feels weird when people consider streaming work well you know i appreciate that that's very nice of you to say and uh you know i am ashamed that sometimes i get inc incredibly tilted at this game i would like to bring a little bit better vibes at all times but um oh yeah when people talk about streaming as work right isn't that like what is a good comparison guys like a paramedic clocking in an office worker clocking in and slaving away is work i think streaming is i don't know it's not really work to me it's it's it is it is something that sometimes I don't want to do and that I do because I know I should and people expect me to come on you know there are days where I don't feel like streaming of course but uh yeah I had a real job that's actually the, the I, I think that is actually so important for every streamer to do every streamer should go work a real job at some point in their life and uh just experience how dog shit it is how dog shit it is to work at a grocery store be a bag boy and have your manager just fucking it's just awful man it's just awful i have like i only worked at a grocery store for three years as a courtesy clerk or sorry as a courtesy clerk is a bag boy okay they give you a fancy name it's a, you're a bag boy okay you're a slave and um i have like infinite stories about just like how miserable that job was but at the time it didn't feel that bad you know to be fair like at the time that i was working that job it did not feel bad whatsoever i was going through high school working at a grocery store uh, after school and but like looking back at it it's like compared to the cushiness of being a like streamer content creator pro player it's it, it's it's like there's still a fucking caste system in this world you know what i mean like i i hate to i hate to like bring that up but like that's that's really what it feels like it feels like i'm now like living in some sort of like i'm living on a different planet than the version of myself that's working at a grocery store and those people it's just it's not fair. Escaping the matrix, yeah, pretty much. Dude, the service industry is fucking awful. Anything where you have to, where you are expected to do a service for someone else is fucking awful. It's like literally like dehumanizing because people will just be like, I didn't like the way that you bagged up my groceries. Do it again. And guess what? You just have to do it again. You have to take all your shit out of the bags, do it again. They didn't like the way you put your, their groceries in their trunk take it all out do it again fuck man just fucking end it right now <laughs> yeah no there's actually probably some grocery store workers here right now it's it's actually ptsd inducing i swear i don't like the way you're not rank one do it again as someone who's worked in actually good places in the service industry that's not always true i've heard that like restaurant culture has definitely gotten a lot better like especially with the internet i feel like people are a lot more okay with standing up to like asshole customers and telling customers no but you know, when I, when I was, this sounds super boring, this sounds super boomer. When I was growing up, and especially in my hometown, the motto of like the customer is always right was totally misinterpreted. I think like the customer is always right. Um, it, it has been like, it has been like, uh, what's it called? Completely misunderstood for a really long time. Cause I'm pretty sure there's like an extra element of it or something that actually means the exact opposite of what you think it means. But, um, yeah, no, like, I, I, I think like back in the day, you know, before the internet was like super, I, I shouldn't even say the internet was super, well, not super big when I was 15 years old, but internet culture wasn't as big. It's saying meaning don't tell them to not buy that thing that would look ugly on them. Really? The, oh, the customer is always right in a matter of taste. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Customers always right is just a motto and it's generalized. That shit is 100% not true. Yeah, no, I mean, some like just, just, you know, common sense tells you sometimes the customer is wrong. Holy moly, Poggers. Customer is actually probably wrong a lot of the time. If someone wants to buy something, you can sell it. Oh, I see. Dude, it's been totally, it's been totally misunderstood then in like pop culture and shit.